Alrighty lads, welcome back to another part of the Leeds United Career Mode series. If you have been enjoying the series, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, yeah guys, we are in the quarterfinals of the Bet Fed Cup. As you probably know, uh, of the Bet Fed Cup, why, my, why, where, why, of the FA Cup, where we shall play against Brentford in the quarterfinal then potentially we will find out our next draw as well so in today's episode we've got the quarterfinal and we also play against second in the league Manchester United who are on their way to a stopping Liverpool from retaining their title um, once again it is not looking good uh, to be playing against second in the league Man United especially in this run of form it's just not what you want to see um, but anyway, how? Uh, so, in terms of the league performance, we're sitting pretty decent in the league. We're on 30 games played with 52 points. We're four points behind Chelsea in fourth position. The only thing is, is the, the league fixtures don't get much easier, to be honest with you. We play Man United, then we play Southampton, who are right next to it. Then it's Liverpool, then it's Arsenal, and then the league fixtures do kind of dwindle on the easier side towards the end of the season. But these nine points that we, twelve points that we can potentially lose, are going to be very important if we are looking to get that top four spot. Because these are the teams you have to be beating to be like aiming high. You know, if you want to aim high, you've got to beat those teams. Anyhow, this is the team that we are going to play in this match. As they, all my players are wanted, most of them anyway. Matt Mulder definitely wanted by uh, Real Madrid. And I don't see why they wouldn't be interested in this man's contract. £105,000 a week from £50 million, He has been so good for us. And uh, it was a bargain really, isn't it? It's just a bargain, they call it, I'm sure. Um, I just wanted to have a quick look at these teams. Because you never know when someone's going to be good. And Wepu, isn't the boy that's set, that was at Brighton? It sure is. So look at RB Salzburg, they've always got some good uh, some good upcoming talents, as you call them. Uh, this guy as well, for instance, is a very good talent. See, is he a defensive midfielder, but maybe uh, if we are looking at replacing uh, Calvin Phillips because of his injury proneness, he is not a bad choice. In terms of the reserve squad, because obviously they... They will get all their youth players pretty soon. We've got Kubo, uh, Ramsden, Tafis or Kubo, is that not the, yeah, that is the man that I'm thinking. Maybe look at him as well, of course, just, just looking at them, it's not really much more than that. Leon Grob is a right back as well that we could look at as well. Again, just, just having a wee look. I know I shouldn't really be looking at transfers and... In what, what, what month are we in? Like May, March? We're in March, so yeah. Anyhow, let's get into this game. We're in good form, quote form, but we had so many chances. Now, I didn't I didn't show you the film game, but oh my, we only won 1 0. We only won 1 0, but I mean, domination was on there. We, we dominated them, but it was like the Charlton game. We dominated them, chance after chance after chance. Chance, like safe and far and nice. Uh, chance after chance after chance, and then we uh, we almost conceded. Uh, they went down to ten as well later on in the game. It was just uh, the game that you you knew that was either going to go your way or not go your way because we were dominating the possession, the ball, the shots, the XG, shots on target, everything. We were dominating corners, everything, and then they were getting one chance here and there, and it was just like oh. Same with the Wolves game, that was a tough one, smile to take. Almost, almost bottling it. But yeah, so we're not doing too shabby so far. Um, especially in the league with only being four points behind. Uh, with a chance of being in Champions League, but this isn't good. In the cup, oh, Cook grazing the top of the crossbar I mean that is a chance and a half that there from Brentford and they are looking again it's on Yenka Gutierrez has to clear again though it's not looking good it's Spinola looking for a trip but 
Mulder has to clear. Very good defending from Mulder there. No, this is one thing that we haven't been very good at, playing out from the back. As much as we have been training it for so long, we haven't been good at it. But there we're, there we're way going on goal here. Here's Ramos. And, of course, we score from it. Like I was saying, we're not being very good at it. And we've scored. And Ramos gets his 10th goal of the season. And that is superb, man. That is really good better player. But I'm pretty sure Ramos has already scored 10 goals. But... From back to front, really, there. That is a beautiful goal. Ramos gets a goal as well to potentially send us into the next round, the semi final of the cup. How is the other rounds of this cup going anyway? FA Cup. So Liverpool are looking on their way through, as are Chelsano and Man City. So it's looking like it could be me that playing Man City, Liverpool, or Chelsea as things stand. Interesting, we probably won't uh, Man City of all of them as Ramos in again looking for his second goal of the game but it is a save from the goalkeeper for Reines. Rafi at the back post looking for a pass, go strike over the bar though. Big chance again from us but again we're just biding our time as it seems to, to pick our opportunities and I mean I'm sure we're waiting to concede here. What a chance. What a chance that is. A chance for them to take the lead. A chance for us to just get our finger out and start actually playing some football. As Gutierrez looks for a lovely pass into Ramos with a chance. And he cannot put his shot on target. A lovely opportunity. A really good ball from Miguel Gutierrez. But again, we miss another chance as Rafinha now has a chance to get it through. It is a chance and it is a goal at last. It's 2-0. It's Pascal Stroik who scores once again. That's his ninth of the season. What a season he's having. And I can't, I'll be surprised if he doesn't want to leave to move to a bigger club come the end of this season. But what a goal. And what a way to get it as well. What a performance this has been so far. Sad like looking to whip it in. Goes to no one. And Spinola just not really doing much with it. Just kind of punting it all the way into space. And Eric Garcia is just walking over to the ball. Um, Melia switches it to Mulder. This is a really good opportunity already. The space has opened up so well. Here's Jack Harrison. Harrison into Mulder again. Mulder loses the ball by passing it away. And Buemo does well. Sad like with a big challenge. He has been very good when he's come into the team actually sad like. Because we've obviously removed Click from the first team. And we've just demoted him down to the reserves. Because he wants the, the game time and stuff. As Ramos makes it three. It's a beautiful pass from Jack Harrison. That is his 12th goal of the season now. It has updated this time. But, yeah, it's uh, it's like I was saying, we have the motor thing and Sadlik has been so, so good uh, with him not playing that much. We've got injuries to Oscar and Phillips, so it is hard for him to get into the team normally. Um, but he's taken his chance superbly. I think his stats are all on the up and again. He was on the dam because obviously he wasn't playing, so now he's back on the up. Yeah, it's looking good so far. If Newcastle can surprise surprise us and get a, a, a nice late equaliser and take it to penalties and win on penalties or something, or go away and win the game, St. Maximan, if he still plays for them, as Eric Garcia gets himself on the score sheet. It's like when one gets on the score sheet, the other has to join in, you know. Uh, when uh, Strike gets himself on it, it's got to be Eric that joins him. And I mean, I can see him leaving on his release clause if he's if we're not careful. We might try to sign a new deal with him. See if he wants to sign a new deal, of course. Uh, we'll probably have to wait until after we get our budgets for next season, though, if we are going to strike a new deal with Eric Garcia. Because um, he has been good, and he's been a really good, ta uh, a really good uh, defender for us. Defensively, we're not exactly the best, don't get me wrong, but that's just because of the... The high press attacking football that we do play. 
And we have been so good in this one. Harrison's in this time to make it five. Oh, it is five. Fire is missing the ball. That's his eighth goal of the season as well. This has been a superb performance from the lads. We are really taking this game to Brentford here. Playing some beautiful football. The pass there, I think it was from Turnbull. Oh, man. No, it was Marcus Antonio. What a pass. And you just, you just can't write it, really. You just cannot write it. The brilliance that we've had in this one is just unbelievable. The five-star performance, as they call it, isn't it? A five-star performance all around for everyone. I don't know how Miguel Gutierrez is, is really struggling to get into the side. I don't know if it's the wing-back or what, but... Arsenal have equalised late on against Liverpool. Now, that could be a good thing. Uh, never mind, Mo Salah has decided otherwise. He's got himself a goal in the 87th minute. Looking likely to win that game for them. Now, all we want to do here is not play Liverpool. If we don't play Liverpool, we have a chance. We play Liverpool. Oh, boy. We don't have a chance, really. But like they say, 5 now. It's just beautiful. And as we're talking about giving him a new contract, uh, he wants a new deal. <laughs> uh, or at least uh, Lewis wants his player to have a new deal anyway. Eric Garcia uh, is on a contract until 2027. If we do try to order him, offer him a contract, he will accept it. But he does want £160,000 a week. Whew! That is a lot a week. 185 there. His agent wants £1 million. Jesus Christ, this agent's greedy, isn't he? No, oh man. I can't afford that. Like, what the fuck do you think? We're made of money, man. We're not exactly the best team in the fucking league. So is he going to accept that? I mean, it is worth it because we can sell him for more more money now. But 155k. I would like to open contract to talks with the club as a result of my recent form. And more importantly, in the waking of impressive today in the 5-0 win over Brentford. Fender played well, was relentless in defence, even managed to get up the other end and score a goal. Eric Garcia added to the score in a closer hand in the 58 minutes. We've offered him a contract, whether he accepts it or not is up to him. But yeah, that's a very strange one in my opinion. But um, anyhow, we'll, we'll, the fact that we're speaking about it next, that's possibly a way to happen is the strangest part about it. Anyhow, uh, I'll be right back once this game uh, is up in 14 days when we play Man United. Uh, well, we see anything else. I don't know, but I'll come right back if I hear anything, and uh, I'll I'll be right back. He's out for a day for a virus. Look at virus. And so we're here for the uh, semi-final cup draw, where it's Liverpool. Please don't be us. Please don't be us. Please, please. Let me just hover over it and just click it. You will find out before me. Is it us? Of course. Of course it's us. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Oh, it's so, so sad. Well, we play Liverpool <laughs> in the FA Cup. Ah, uh, Wembley Stadium. I mean, it's going to be tough to beat them, but we're going to have to give it our all against them. It's going to be a tough one. Oh, man. I'll be back for the Man United game. Okay, so this is the team we're going to play against Manchester United. Melia, Dallas, Garcia was striking Gutierrez. Uh, Sadlik, Marcus Antonio, Edwards, Turnbull, Rafinha and Ramos in there. Man United, top of the league as things stand. Can we beat them? 
it is a question that we all want to know. Can we win against the on form? Did year the champs, the champs, the champs, did year the champs, the champs? I don't know how you say his name. Is their manager, and uh, we just need to play our game. We've beaten Man United in the past, I believe. Yeah, we beat them in the quarter final of the Euro Cup. The year I think they won it. So, I mean, my United are miles ahead of us. We've obviously, with them signing Haaland, that really just improved their season by a lot. They finished like eighth, I think, this the last season, and they signed Haaland, and they're on track for winning the league. And oh no, that is not good. And Ronaldo's in. You don't save those, is what the thing says at the bottom. Uh, I mean, that's just poor from us. This is what was kind of similar to the goal that we conceded against. Uh, against, uh, I think it was, who was it in the league? Who was it we played? Was it Newcastle? No, we lost 1-0 to them. Uh, Aston Villa, Danny Ings, running on to it. Just, just poor, wasteful. Poor and wasteful. Give him it wide, give him it wide. No, we're going for the middle, are we? Oh, Luke Shaw's giving it away and Ramos can't capitalise. Right there, that's where we need a striker that can. That's a striker that goes on and, and takes that chance on. That's sad, Rafinha now. The back post looking for strike. He's always there normally to head it at home. It isn't on this occasion and Man United are way a counter here. Big time counter as Haaland as well. How on earth are you meant to compete with this Man United side? I know we're not there to compete yet, but oh my word. This Man United side, I mean, Jesus Christ. They're saying Melly could have done better, but then even if he did go to his near post and cover it, Haaland would have been able to change the direction of his shot in, in, in that heartbeat. So Ronaldo and Haaland both have a goal. I mean, I get that. Oh my goodness. That's his second. 43rd. 43rd goal of the season for Erlen Brought Haaland. That is just incredible. Like, that is. Honestly, just incredible. Ronaldo header on it, back post. Wow. I mean, we're good. We're way good. I'm so humped in this game, aren't we? Oh, this is going to be a hide, and this is going to be a long game. When Fernandez hits the bar. Okay, right. Well, because we don't want the game to be embarrassing. We are no longer playing it out of defence. And the keeper is not distributing it to the flanks. He's going to distribute it over defence and take long kicks. I just don't agree with uh, us playing it from the back when our first goal was literally not taking the chance at the back post. Oh my goodness, Holland's got a hat trick in 35 minutes. We're 4 0 down in 35 minutes against this Man United side. Wow, the derby of the rivalries of rivalries. Erlen Haaland is just uh, throwing it in the bin. Wow. <laughs> that is all I can say, really. Wow. <laughs> we are getting blown away here at Old Trafford. Maybe get a weak consolation. Rafinha at the back post. Strike does get his head on it for his 10th of the season. He's he's always going to be there at that, see, at that back post, Pascal. He certainly seems to be getting a good few goals at that back post, that's for sure. And uh, we might be 4-1 down, but you never know. Anything's possible. In football manager, we might go 4 1 down and then go in equalize to 4 4, maybe. <laughs> I 
No, we will not. We, we, we will be lucky to even get a second goal. I mean, with us starting this highlight, I'll be surprised if we end on the highlight. Is Dallas. Blocked. So I'd like. Does find Ramos. Could save again from the hair. It's offside, though. And again, though, in that situation, you want someone that can score. If we had Haaland in that situation, he would have been onside and had scored that chance. That is the type of quality that we're playing up against. As Dallas does actually come off for Luis Diaz. Who I believe Liverpool are trying to get in real life. In terms of the results around us, it's not really looking good. Because Southampton event or that Champions League spot. It is not looking good at all because we are just looking dreadful, really. We're just looking dreadful. Um, and because we now play Liverpool in the next round as well of this, of the FA Cup, it's not looking easy for us to get car to get Europa League football. There's so many good teams in the Premier League. It's it's really hard to get any kind of European competition. We do get another goal back. It's Goncalo Ramos. I'm not sure why he's celebrating when he's just go grab the ball and, and get going again, but Ramos uh, is a good play from Rafinha. He gets the ball down the byline and he can cross it in. And Ramos does actually take a chance for us to hear. Probably unlucky, but we do have a second goal in the match. Is that a sign of us to go and start a comeback? Probably not, but... Like I say, you never do know in Football Manager. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Win the ball back here. And we are on it for a chance. When they don't have Haaland there, they are back to regular Man United, it seems. Never mind. Luis Diaz is on the edge of the... He's driving through. It's Marcus Edwards actually does well defensively. Oh, jeez. It's fine, you've got that, Antonio. I keep wanting to call him Alonso. He's offside, surely. He's offside. A really good save, though. He wasn't offside. Of course he wasn't. Oh, boy. Nabre. Jesus. Good, good, good hands from Melier there. Good hands. I mean, I like how there's loads of highlights, but I just hate that they're not for me. McTominay now, they are looking for number five, and they might get it here, block, punt, <laughs> block, punt, block, punt, punt forward, <laughs> Diaz, Ronaldo off the bar, oh my goodness, their goal is most definitely coming, their goal is definitely coming, uh, we're going to bring off Dallas for Mulder, we're going to bring on a new bar for Turnbull. Just change it up a little bit. And we're going to go attack him for the last however many minutes. Oh, they've they got a penalty as well. Oh, this game just loves my United, doesn't it? They're away, got a penalty. Oh, it's so sad. So fucking sad. It's so sad. And Ronaldo, I mean, he's penaled, wasn't he? Um. Oh my God, he's actually missed it. Melee has made a good save. Oh, what a save that is from Elon Melee, and he somewhat keeps us in this game. <laughs> I say somewhat because we were never in the game, apart from when it was nil nil. But even then, it doesn't seem like we were in the game. That's not a pen ref. You can fuck off there. Why do we keep punting it into Rosie? Because then they just get the ball from this and then go away and try and get a, get a shot away and then we clear it again back for them to score again. And they do finally score. I mean, it was always going to happen because we kept on fucking putting it into the into the, the into the byline. It's like, why? Can we not just, like, play it out, get rid of it, like, clear it properly? I mean, oh, man, it's just, yeah... It's just Ronaldo and Haaland. The Ronaldo Haaland show, isn't it? Ricardo's got one assist as well. 
I mean, there's genuinely not much more we could have done. Genuinely not. Um, on a positive note, Chelsea are drawn with Tottenham. And on a positive note, we have the more games than Everton. Or, we have an extra game than ever, and they're losing as well. 3 1 to Brentford. We are 8th, and it seems like we are just always the the worst team of the best. We're best of the rest in terms of. From 7th down, 8th down. Man United gain ground on their, on their champions, on, on their title challenge this season so in the next game we will have the Liverpool semi-final then the Arsenal game and then we will probably be back for Liverpool and then we'll split it and then we'll do the final game of the season see how we're doing just to end the season on a high, hopefully, depending on how things go. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, hit the like button because we need to win all these games in the upcoming season. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.